So most people are outraged, obviously, by what happened to Charlie uh, Hebdo uh, in France, and uh, 12 people who were killed, four that were injured, uh, and uh, the three guys who did it were shouting Allahu Akbar, and that they have avenged the Prophet. Um, why does the Prophet need avenging is a good question. Um, can he handle it himself? He's a Prophet, right? Uh, how about Allah? He can't handle it? Uh, he needed you? Okay, well, uh, one uh, particularly loathsome guy uh, named Anjan Chidari decided that he was going to weigh in on this. Uh, he's been on Fox and CNN. <clears throat> and uh, he said, here he's a Muslim cleric, apparently a radical one in, in Britain, he said, Muslims love the Messenger Muhammad uh, more than their parents, children, and even themselves. Why don't people understand? Well, <clears throat> that sounds like a cult, doesn't it? And look, I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer in Christianity, Islam, Judaism. I don't believe any of it. Chosen people is an absolute joke. Guy walks on water, virgin birth. I mean, are you mental? Are you mental? That's what you are, right? I don't believe in any of those fairy tales. I also don't believe Thor has a really strong hammer or the Zeus throws down lightnings or comes down every once in a while and has sex with humans. Do you, but, I mean, do you understand that if you're not a believer, all those myths sound equally crazy, okay? And then sometimes, wow, look at that. Crazy people take uh, those myths and decide to do crazy things with that, okay? And, and, but yet we're supposed to respect that. Okay, now, so I've told you already, I'm a non-believer, I'm agnostic, right? If you believe in your religions, I have nothing but eternal damnation facing me. So two points about that. One, isn't that enough? <laughs> so the, the guys you killed, the cartoonists that you killed for the attackers that I'm talking to here, um, what can you do to them that Allah couldn't? How small is your Allah that, first of all, while running the universe, he takes great offense at cartoons? He's got to be the most sensitive supreme being I've ever heard of. I mean, while he's off in whatever galaxy he's in, you say, oh my God, look at what the Danish and the French did with those cartoons. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I hope some madmen on earth do something. Really? There's a lot he can do about it, right? In the book, don't we all suffer uh, eternal torture? It's not enough for you? Nobody's, you know what it is? Because you don't actually believe. See, that's the great irony of these guys. If they believed that Allah was real, they'd leave it up to him. I'm like, wow, Allah's got you on lockdown, man. Okay, but they don't believe. They don't believe that there's gonna anything's gonna happen to those guys in the afterlife. That's why they think they have to take action now to defend their sad, pathetic ideology, which is fundamentalist Islam. Secondly, they're always these fundamentalists that do the most grotesque violence. Always so offended. They're like the most sensitive little bitches in the world. They're constantly crying, I'm offended, I'm offended, I'm offended. I'm offended by your murders. I'm offended by your barbarism. But am I also not allowed to be offended that you think I will be tortured for eternity? Doesn't that sound offensive? That sounds pretty offensive, isn't it? But I'm supposed to be tolerant to religions. I'm supposed to say, no, 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 no. Let, no, 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 we don't want to offend them. We don't want to offend them. They say we will be burned alive for the rest of time after we pass away. But they're the ones offended. They say, they said in the past, oh, black people are supposed to be slaves. You think they didn't say that? Look it up in the history books. And by the way, the Christians said it, the Muslims said it, the others, they all kept slaves, right? But, but God forbid we should offend them. Now they say gays will burn in hell, and they shouldn't be married, and they shouldn't get, uh, be allowed to adopt, and all these different things. And in some countries... Uh, they say that if you're uh, flagrantly gay, you should be executed. But we shouldn't offend them. We shouldn't offend them. Don't you understand how holy our prophet Muhammad is? Well, if he's so powerful, leave it up to him when we all pass away. But you don't believe that. You see, I believe in science. So, for example, let's call my uh, God science, right? One of his prophets is gravity. If you say, I do not believe in your gravity. I say, have at it, Hoss. I don't, I don't have to go and shoot you. I don't have to be offended by that. See, I'm a true believer. I believe that if you step off the ledge of the building, gravity, my profit will have consequences for you. See, I don't have to do anything extra because you're going to fall down and die. I don't have to do anything extra. In fact, I would try to talk you off the ledge. I would try to save your life. Say, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> my prophet and my God is not to be messed with. Two plus two actually equals four. And if you step off that ledge, you, gravity, believe me, will have consequences for you. I don't have to do anything to protect the honor of gravity or science. You see, you don't believe. You don't believe that there is a God. You don't believe in Allah. You don't believe in Muhammad. That's why you think you have to protect their honor. Because you think they don't actually exist and can't stand up for themselves. Your book says they can, but you don't believe that. So here's more from this clown, the cleric that I was just talking about. May Allah allow Muslims and non-Muslims live together under divine law, where the honor of citizens and prophets is protected. First, whenever anybody starts talking about honor, run out of the building. Okay, honor is almost always now followed by some sort of killing. Honor killings in Islam, our guys, oh, we're going to stand up for honor and murder everybody in the area, right? Honor. <laughs> the honorable thing to do is to kill people because you're offended? That's the honorable thing to do? I think you've totally warped that word, and now it means the exact opposite. You have somehow offended my sensibilities, so in, because of that, I will, I will murder you because of honor. Screw your honor. Your honor is the most immoral thing on the planet. Finally, this Chidari guy says, freedom of expression does not extend to insulting the prophets of Allah, whatever your views on the events in Paris today. No, no. My views on the events of Paris today is that freedom of expression absolutely, positively includes insulting your prophet, your God, yourself, and any damn else thing I like to insult. That is the point of freedom of speech. If you don't understand that, there's a wonderful country called Saudi Arabia where you could take your sorry ass back to. Okay? Now, I don't know where you come from and I don't care. But look, here's another uh, option for you. Iran, pick your poison. Okay? Those are religious states. If you're Christian, maybe you want to head down to the Vatican. I don't care. But we're not those countries. We're the country that protects freedom of speech, including offensive speech, including speech that you find horrific, including your speech that tells me that I'm going to be eternally tortured. But I am willing to protect that speech because I know for a fact that not only is it not true, you don't even think it's true.